Somi kwa ngalia nyuma. Zi siku pileo. Shoot. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Habari zenyu, sifam. <laughs> Mkiambiwa, mkae nyumbani wakati wa kwanza tafadhali kaa nyumbani otherwise utapitia kichapo cha mbwa kama nilivyopitia <laughs> hey guys so it's been long before i posted but ni hali life but thank you all who have uh, sticked around till this time shukran sana so acha tu tuingie kwa stoji vile mmeona kwa title we are going to be talking about what i went through with the policemen so it was on day it was on a sunday i decided to go and uh, do some shooting with my friends so mean me and an co work so no jo size this is like my work See, it's like this is my work content creation is my work. so mean me na chapo tumemaliza poa but we finished late kama kanipigia kaniuliza uko wapi namwambia ama they tulia na calm relanyo na calm mimi nimefurahi tumemaliza shooting tumemaliza kila kitu the day has been okay the day has been great kumbe i didn't know what was waiting for me i didn't know what was waiting for me i was from embakasi so from embakasi i went to doni i took a mat so kufika hapo ilikuwa around 8:30 so unajua 8:30 hiyo time kuna kwanga na rush everyone wants to reach home early so that place still our place is not that far so mimi nikajua by 9 nitakuwa nimefika mtani my guys gari haijai mimi naambia uko doctor cheki just do this twende tu utapata watu mbele hapana madam ka utaki ushuke so mimi mle like, eh hey, manzi sisi shuka sisi shuka niko na pressure ya madhe ananishina mimi nipigia uku kila kila mahali so my mom calls me again eh nikasema mimi sishiki phone juma wanta nipea pressure hapa nitajipata nimeshuka nimetembea hadi home so mimi sishuki akapea bro wangu simu bro wangu ameni call sishiki ameni text kwa wapi sis namwambia we relax na calm so nimengoja 8:30 8:35 8:40 <laughs> <laughs> Ushai Ushaisikia una pandwa na hasira unataka kutoka kwa hiyo mat uanze kutembea. Kajambia check it is just just chill. So naangalia time. It's almost 9. Sasa hiyo ni 10 minutes to 9. But nikajambia maybe hawa tu wa mat wanajua wanajua kama wangekuwa najua kuna shida wangetuambia tusipande but hawa me allow to pande till right now so mimi nikajua kuna shida nikamwa nikauliza huyo conductor uko sure tukifika later ma police hawataleta shida akisema no everything is okay so mimi nika chill so finally mat ikaja that was 9 10 so tunaendelea tu vizuri manyanja road tumepita 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 kangundo road tukafika around saika estate so tumefika kufika hapo mtu wa mat akasema so kwanza hapa itabidi mshuke mimi nataka kutan so mimi am like mbona mbona utan si utupeleke tu tufike home why you turning mbona, mbona unatusulubisha manze kwa mapolisi so the guy is like ah zi mshuke manze mimi siezi kufa na wa mapolisi so mimi nikasema ai sawa cha nishuke so watu kushuka na watu wameshuka na wanakimbia in like 5 minutes sioni mtu so mimi nikozileza like ai kwa nini mwasemu nakimbia hakuna mapolisi mnakimbia mimi siko nimeona mbele what was happening my guy <laughs> naangalia mbele dia gasta so mimi i'm like oh my god aki mungu usiniache ni kufe this and so mimi nikashanga ka corona haijaniua manzi maponye ya gas wataka kuniwa manze ai nikasema aizi siezi siezi kubali kukufa nikikufa nani atawapia content nani wewe niambie nani atawapia ma story time kind of zangu so nikaanza kupiga hesabu mimi niona mfadhi mwingine anaenda hivi amekimbia hivi i love the funny thing niko na baba mwingine ameruka kwa na lori literally akaingia ndani ya lori na karuka sijui kalilala hapo ama aliamuaje So mimi nikasema kuna vile na nalala nje na kuna vile nakufa. Si bel you have to save your life. This the world needs you. So nikasema 
acha tu nijifanye mimi ni dem kajua dem madem tuna urumi wangu so nikaendelea tu kutembea nikasikia tu guess ni nini pia gasi nyingine kutoka nyuma ndio inifikie so mimi kuangalia nyuma zi siku leo shoot ndio ndio nimekimbia nimekimbia nikafika like nikafika mahali since nimekimbia nikategwa na mawe so kutegwa na mawe nikaanguka chini hiyo in the process ya kuanguka chini nitaita sata pa picture uone vile hiyo nguo yangu ilikuwa inakaa nikaumia hapa kwa mguu so hiyo time nimeanguka chini imagine hmm? government of kenya gok mapolisi wenyu wanne wakamwa nini <laughs> unajifanya unadhani serikali ni yako manzi nilipigwa imagine i'm on the floor but no these guys at awana mercy awana love awana kindness awana kitu ni ma at mashida tu zimewaja manzi nilipigwa so me i'm like eh wallahi aki imagine acheni so out of nowhere out of nowhere big up man watu wa nduzi mzee wa nduzi mmoja akakuja tu akaniambia akawaambia ah manzi uni demu nampiga hivi kama mnyama ah nyipi akwa mimi afadhali mimi nipige msipige udemu hivi the guy akaniambia nini sis panda kwa nduzi yangu twende hey shaona superman from kenya <laughs> i saw you call superman from kenya cuz aki he really saved me So from hapo tukaenda tuka tu hadi home akaniuliza kwenyu ni wapi nini um, what you, actually the guy told me i'm very lucky those guys who wanna piga watu wanakuwa na wanakutupa hapo cuz it's during the night no one cares no one is going to look for you unless your family if they if that is if they care about you so me i'm like oh my god manzi hao watu wameamua tu wanemalize wameamua tu mimi mimi nimekwisha kwisha kwisha So the guy can yambia next time usirudi late um, eh unajua tu uh, mapolisi sasa hii kwanza with curfew so akanipeleka hadi home kufika home tukapata like gates za courts zetu zimefungwa had to call my mom again mwenye nilikuwa nimekata kushika simu zake <laughs> mother pole <laughs> i had to call her again kapiga brother yangu akanifungulia gate sasa niko hapo nakwambia i was crying you know right now it's actually funny it's actually watu nimepiga story niko na cheka wanaweza na cheka nini but that time it wasn't funny lakini sasa hizi nikiimagine <laughs> kile nilikuwa nalia nimeanguka chini na pigwa niko tu <laughs> so my mom is like ni nini eh kamwambia eh hey, manze ama polisi wamenipiga vibaya sana vibaya sana wamenichafua men So akaniambia unaona usikizangi nikikwambia ukae kwa nyumba kako unajua hiyo time ndio wazazi wanafurahi ingi wanafurahi yanga so <laughs> ananiambia nikikwambia ukae kwa nyumba ukae kwa nyumba eh unaona mimi najua hizo vitu mimi nikubwa bwana hujatoka akakambia so so nikafanywa tu surgical nini ile tu home nikatengeneza tengeneza mguu kiasi eh watu walinipigia wakahala wakiniuliza whatsapp Shukran watu wa mko nipigia mmeshajua najua najua actually wao wengi wenye mmekimbia hii story kwa hii video kuna vile nilipigwa mko kama haters nyinyi but na wapenda tu nyinyi wote ma haters na ma lovers big up to all of you eh so lesson of this strategy siko napiga tu story at story tu manze ukiambiwa ukuwe kwa nyumba before curfew kuwa tu kwa nyumba kuwa tu kwa nyumba kwa sababu utachapwa it's either uchuz kuchapwa na mzazi wako ama na mapolisi Ukichuzi kuchapwa na mzazi wako utalala pale umetoka. Ukichuzi kuchapwa na polisi itabidi urudi home uumie. But I don't think that's the right choice. Parents pia waelewe kidogo. Kidogo tu mtuelewe kidogo. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Kama umefika hapa manze, comment Kafi 101. <laughs> yeah, not till next time. It's a wrap. Bye bye. Girl, I see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you i can't take no more